suicidal setup phase. And this will be your call, Dono, so... Well, uh, you know the mechs that these guys are taking. Uh, what is Clyde taking? Clyde? Clyde has himself a UAC-5, a, a 6 UAC-5 direwolf. Um, it's not your standard mech that you would see in stuff like this. The Kodiak has generally outstripped the direwolf in uh, regards to damage capability. It's a faster mech. It has better hard points for weaponry. Um, but the direwolf has... It's a, it's a monster, man. It's a... It's, it's a contender. I'm trying to find it so I can show it. Oh no, here's the Nova. And our uh so this is a match between Clyde, one of our resident fluffer, and uh and my first battle mech, who they tell me is a nine year old. Now that's weird. But if he can rock it, that's the important part. Running a Nova too, with what it looks like is six medium lasers on each arm. Maybe uh, even more. No, nope. my first battle mech. He's at twelve small pulse lasers, actually. Uh, by small the way, Donovan, if you hit P, you can bring up your pointer. You can click on a mech, and then you hit Enter to bring up the highlight. I'm going to actually rebind. Uh, I lost the HUD. Oh, 10 points. 10 points. That's okay. So we have, yeah, Clyde Gold in his six Ultra AC5s. He actually had a strategy where he wanted to sit up. I don't know if you can see him, but he wanted to sit right where he's going and use the field of fire. To, oh, yeah. To wreck the Nova. That's, that's the strategy that he had. Well, the Nova just went underneath by the looks of it. Indeed. So what do you... Okay. Yeah, Nova's sitting underneath. But I don't know if he's going to sit under there. No, it looks like he's going to... Yeah. Yeah, oh, he might come right out to where uh, Clyde is. Yeah. Surprised that he tried to take shots at him with uh, small pulse lasers, knowing that he's too far away to. It it was a considerably ranged shot. Um, Clyde's doing the right thing here. He's just staying. He's being patient. Um, we did a little training, and uh, he was pretty set on this strategy because it allows him to use the range of those ultra fives. And it looks like uh, he's going to try to swing around. Oh, using the jump jets to get up high. Yeah, if I was the Nova, I would definitely try to take the left side of the map and try to get on Clyde's uh, blind side. Yeah. Yes, that is a big problem with that position that I exploited in practice. Yeah, this is not the way to do it, though. Yeah, I would not get up top. It's one of if those it things. If it was the medium lasers, it wouldn't be so bad, but the small pulses, they just don't have the range. Absolutely. Absolutely. Clyde doesn't seem to have an angle on him. That low-slung Nova, man. It certainly benefits this top area. He's got cover for days. And if he goes down to a waiting game, I'm pretty sure Clyde has this with uh, taking the least amount of damage. Well, actually, just so you know, we've adjusted the rules on that now. Um, it is two men enter, one man leaves. It is some Thunder Dome shit. Okay, so if these guys fight to the end of a game, It'll be a regame, and they have to do it again. There's no ties in in our tournament. 
and and you know what we talked a little about some of the poss- the the issues maybe with a a damage based system for deciding a tie because it favors damage dealt favors the lighter mech if assuming they're both alive and damage receive or uh, remaining health favors the heavier mech because it just has more health to give up. So my oh, first battle Clyde's mech picked up where he is. Yeah, he certainly has. My first battle mech is playing very carefully here. He's hoping I think that Clyde will come to him. Now, oh, he's gonna, he's got an idea. Let's see if we can't keep track of him here. I've been told my pr- first battle mix battle sense is really good, so I'm hoping he uses the left side. But it looks like he might go right side. Yeah, I I'm interested to see what goes on here. This part right here is probably the ideal spot for him to engage, and unfortunately, Clyde's going to just avoid it. Well, he is using the low, ter- the high terrain, and the low mech as cover. Pretty good, so yes, he, he might is. try to get the drop on him. I think the biggest problem is going to be, you know, I'm trying to kind of trying to run that, and he can run cover all the way around if he plays carefully. He can run cover all the way within a couple hundred meters of Clyde, but Clyde's looking like he sees him. Oh, maybe not. If Clyde stays back in that corner, he's not going to be able to see him around that wall either. No, he's not. And you know, that's the big, that's the big problem with these dire wolves. You get in, cl- you get in tight on them, and they're in trouble. All their, it's only arms. Oh, Clyde's smart. He's backing up. Oh, he's going to see him. Maybe not. Jeez, this kid, this kid's got a sixth sense. He's going to get the drop. He, I don't know if he thinks he's. I don't know that he thinks he's still there. Clyde took 7% off of him with that volley. Oh, Straight to the legs, too. And, and there, there goes, goes an, arm. an arm. Okay, so he's down to half his armament. That is is the big problem with these clan mechs. Oh, no. Oh. oh, nice. Nice damage absorption there, though. Yeah, see, this is the danger spot for fighting against Clyde because he's just going to back up forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. Clyde's read this. He's read this. This guy's going to pop around the corner and eat those AC5 shots. Yeah, this is game right here. Oh, he didn't read it. Yeah, he has not even managed to open Clyde up. And And that's game. Oh, that was a torso shot. Damn. Very nice, Clyde. Very nice. That was well played. That was what he wanted to do. User joined your channel. Hey guys. Hey Jerry, how you doing? All right. All right. So we just finished the Clyde match. Oh really? Yes, and we are live right now, Jerry. So I want to take a second and see what you have. Here, would you, the CEO, have to think about this wonderful tournament we're running? Oh, I think it's a. An excellent opportunity User for the channel. pilots within the User regiment to channel. show their skills and uh, enjoy themselves and have a little bit of fun. Absolutely, That's, I couldn't have said it better myself. We've had uh, we've had a couple of good games today, Jerry. We had Vaco and Destroyer did their thing. Okay, and who Des- won out of that? Destroyer came out on top. Vaco okay. got a little aggressive. He got he got a little tight in on that really tough Black Widow. Uh-huh. And, yeah, and lost one of his autocannon, one of his LB20s, or 10s right away. Made and, it. And, who, and then who Groot, else? Groot, Groot and uh, Romeo. And how did that go? Romeo took it. Pretty convincingly, uh-huh. I'd say. He uh, he lured Groot in underneath. Yeah. And Groot bit on it, and then Romeo had him with, you know, four SRM6s and two LB10s on his Atlas. Just stand up against that Warhammer and tore him apart. Oh, so that's what he's running. Yep, so that's your look. <laughs> that's your look, boss. You'll be able to even check it out. Watch that game. 
And if you want, okay. we can always run some 1v1s because uh, I know Andrew pretty well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm running. I'm running. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm running a medium laser build. Okay. So you got the Lucifer build, do you? Yeah. I've got five medium lasers and four pulse lasers on my Warhammer. Okay. So that's going to put you in, you know, a pretty comparable range to the very splatty DDC Atlas that Andrew drives. Yeah, well, that's what I'm, 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 I'm thinking about that. I do have the range extension on my mediums. Okay. So. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. that should should put me at the extreme range on SRM sixes and and about. I I I'll have to check the range on the LB ten F. The LB ten is one of those weird ones because it'll it'll reach out and touch somebody at range, but it doesn't do yep. a ton of damage when it does. So. No, so yeah. that's my thing. The other thing is, is is my my Warhammer's run about eighty kph, so she oh, ain't slow thing. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's gonna be that's gonna be something that you can really leverage against the DDC. Yep. Yeah. Um, and he likes to run. He likes to call it a ninja build. So it's uh, you know he's the the ECM and he's got a little bit bigger engine than you would expect in an Atlas. I mean it's it's still a fatless. Yep. But it's almost nimble for an Atlas. <laughs> He's still got huh? 20 kph on it or something. So uh, that could be a good fight. That could be a very good fight. Yep, I think I'm going to make him wait till Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do it. User Do joined it. your channel. Jerry, I love you. User left your channel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We got bombed. That's hilarious. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Cool, Definitely. cool. So uh, I'm glad the tournament is going well. I'm glad everybody's having a good time with it. I, that's totally freaking awesome. Oh, you it's know, great. Uh, it's yeah. good idea, racer. I think it's an awesome idea that you're recording them for posterity. Absolutely. So, It'll be nice to be able to put it all together in a in a playlist on YouTube and throw it out there. Yeah. And hell, why not post it on the MechWarrior forums? Maybe we get some interest in another one. User joined yep. your channel. Jerry, I love you so User much. User joined your channel. Jerry, I User love left you. Your channel. User left your channel. <laughs> this is what happens when you get live. This is what happens. You can hear User the response. Your channel. Jerry, I love you. User left your channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anyone else? It's good, to be, it's good to be the commander. Fuck yeah. You know, at least my troops love me. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Too good funny. deal, good deal. Absolutely. All right, well, I'll let you guys Well, get we're all done, here. actually. We're just good, about to wrap it up. So I just want to thank everyone for joining us, and uh, you have yourselves a great day on the battlefield. Remember, 502nd Panzer Regiment. <laughs> Hold my beer and watch this. And fuck yo, yo couch. couch. 